What's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here, back with the final part of what if Naruto was imprisoned and neglected by his family. First of all, I would like to thank you guys for reaching 119 subscribers by now. I appreciate your support and will continue to make good what ifs or the what ifs you recommend. So yeah, let's continue. This what if. Last time, we left off when Naruto hunted down Akatsuki and Itachi surrendered to Konoha as Naruto was going back home after so long as three pale figures outside earth were seeing everything that has unfolded as they planned to travel to earth and give them a visit. Let's continue now. After one and a half year, Naruto was returning back to Konoha as he had saved every Jinjuriki's life and prevented, tail, prevent, and prevented ten tails from getting revived as well as Kaguya as he was near Konoha gates now as he said hello to the guards and went inside as he was walking through the streets of Konoha towards Hokage office as people were now bowing to him and showing him respect because tales of his feats that how he prevented a war from happening against Akatsuki were already spread throughout all elemental nations as they all respected Naruto Naruto had grown over the years as his orange ear has grown covering his one eye as it goes back down to his hips similar to Jiraiya but orange in color and he wa he has a scar on his other eye that is visible that he got from fighting Kisame as he has grown tall and much more muscular as he wears a black robe like Sasuke wears in Bruto. His clothing is all black. His tails are also grown. As instead of swords, he can pump chakra into them and make them like swords into his battles. He has a lot of scars on his body due to training, fighting, bandits, rogues, Akatsuki members and so on. As he made it to Hokage office after some time. Now inside Hokage office were Kushin and Jiraiya and Tsunade along with Minato. As they were overgoing their reports and explaining it to Minato as a knock on door was heard. Come in, said Minato as the door opened wide and Naruto walked in. I'm home, he said with a smile as all of their eyes went wide. Na Naruto, is that you? Kushina asked. Hey mom. Dad, it's been a long time, hasn't it? He said as both Minato and Kushina rushed towards him and gave him a big hug as both of them had tears in their eyes. I'm so happy and relieved, my son, that you came home safely, said Kushina while crying. As after some time, all of them calmed down. As Naruto was explaining about his one and a half year travel outside to them, the news of Naruto arriving spread throughout the village as even all Konoha 12 were informed of his arrival as both Minma and Mito rushed towards Hokage's office as both of them just jumped on him after arriving there and locked him into a tight hug as both of them started to cry and apologize to him especially Mito because she didn't even get a chance to apologize before he left but Naruto just comforted them after after they both calmed down, Naruto told his parents that he would like to walk around the village for some time. As it has been a long time, he will. As all of them agreed, Kushina and Mito went home to go and prepare some dinner for Naruto. As Menma went on a mission with Jiraiya, he didn't want it to, but Jiraiya forced him to. It was a small mission near a village to Konoha. That would take four to five hours to complete. Now back with Naruto. As he was walking around the streets of Konoha. He saw a little pup in an alleyway. Who was bruised and beaten up. And all looked lost. As Naruto picked up the pup. And healed it using medical ninjutsu. That should do it. Said Naruto. After healing the pup. As the pup slowly opened his eyes. As he saw Naruto smiling at him. How are you doing, little pup? As the pup yipped at as as the pup yipped at Naruto. As this was going on, a voice of female spoke from behind Naruto. Danmaru, there you are. 
I was worried sick. Where have you been? Asked Naruto turned around to see a beautiful girl with brown hair and black eyes with red marks on her face. And Naruto slightly blushed after seeing her. As Naruto thought of her as a beauty. As suddenly three dogs came behind her. These dogs looked like, like a breed between dogs and wolves. And as suddenly... Oh, so this is... Oh, so this pup belongs to you, said Naruto. Yes, his name is Danmaru. He escaped from the shed while no one was paying attention, said the girl. I see. May I know your name? asked Naruto to the brown-headed girl. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Hana Inazuka. I see. I'm Naruto Uzumaki. It's nice to meet you, Hana, said Naruto. I'm sorry that this little one troubled you, said Hana. Oh, no worries. After saying that, Naruto handed over the pup to Hana. Well, nice meeting you, Hana. I'll take my leave now. Bye, said Naruto as he began to walk away. Wait, let me thank you for saving this pup. Would you mind having dinner with us, said Hana. Oh, okay, I guess. How about tomorrow then, said Naruto. Okay, tomorrow it is. It works for me, said Hana, as she was blushing slightly as well, as both of them went their separate ways after saying goodbye to each other. As Naruto got home after some time and had dinner with his family, as all of them talked and laughed and had a good time overall. Time skipped to tomorrow evening. I see. So you got yourself a date, huh? Asked Kushina. No, it's not a date, mom. She just invited me to have dinner with her family, that's all. And it's because I saved a pup that belongs to their clan. That's why. She just wants to thank me. That's all. So, who's the lucky girl? Asked Mito, teasing Naruto. As he slightly blushed out of embarrassment. Ha ha Hana Inazuka. Oh, so she's from Inazuka clan. I see, said Minato with a smile, teasing Naruto. As after some time, Naruto left his house and went straight towards Inuzuka compound. As after getting to main gate, he asked for Hana from guards and they led him without any question to main house of the clan. Oh, so you must be Naruto, huh? Asked Tatsumi, Hana and Kiba's mother, walking outside the main house. Ah, uh, yes ma'am, I'm Naruto Uzumaki Namekaze. It's nice, to, it's nice to meet you. As he said this with a bow, Oh, no need to be so formal, kid, said Tatsumi. Oh, Naruto-kun, you're here. How was your travel here? asked Hana, coming downstairs. Ah, I'm fine. How have you been, Hana? asked Naruto. Oh, fine, same as usual, said Hana while playing with her hair and giggling to herself. As Tatsumi was saying this, good job, Hana. You found a nice mate. I'm sure everyone will love him, thought Tatsumi to herself as they went inside and had dinner and had a good time. As Naruto meet with all Inuzuka hounds, as all of them liked him, especially Danmaru. This went on as Inuzuka invited Naruto a few times over for dinner, as gradually Naruto and Hana began to have feelings for each other. As after a year, they officially began to date, both Tatsumi and Kushina alongside Minato, Menma and Mito were happy. Their life was going well. Now time skip. Three years later, Naruto is 20 and Hana is 23 because she is three years older than Naruto. Both of them were getting married as all five Kages were there and were in invited to Naruto's marriage. As all of them had formed an alliance of peace as Manma also proposed to Hinata and Sasuke to Sakura and Mita to Neji at Naruto's wedding as it shocked everyone. As after Naruto got married, so did everyone else the same day. Now we have another time skip of 8 years. Naruto has two kids, Boruto, 5 years old blonde boy with brown eyes and Hima, 3 year old girl with brown hair and blue eyes. As Hima had red markings similar to her mother and Bruto has one mark under his left eye similar to her mother. 
representing Inuzuka, Namekaze and Uzumaki clan all together. As Menma was elected as new Hokage, fifth Hokage, they offered it to Naruto before asking Menma, but he declined. Their life was going on. Well, Menma had Himawari and Saruto with Hinata and Sasuke and Sakura still had Sakura or Sarada. As Itachi was forgiven by Sasuke as all four of them lived in an apartment together. Mito and Neji also had a son named Hazashi Yuga, which he named after his late father. The world was at peace for now. Someday, suddenly, Naruto felt three high-level chakra signatures approaching the earth. It's time, he thought. He said as he activated barriers all over the Five Nation, confusing everyone and all villages he had traveled to. But after the barrier activated, everyone, every Kage knew what was going on because he had already informed them about a threat approaching us soon. He had created this barrier alongside every other village help it, that could even stop Otsusu kicking for a year. It was this much strong. As three pale figures landed, as two pale figures landed first, one was watching outside the earth alongside his clan. As Naruto informed all of the cages already about why he activated barriers and what's going on now. As he looked back at his family, as he then disappeared before they could stop him, Hana was crying because she was scared for her husband's life. Outside barrier. Well, well, what do we have here? A foolish human playing a hero. It's quite funny. Don't you think, Ishiki? Momoshiki, shut up. He has presence of a full old Suzuki. Be careful, Ishiki. You're no fun. He's a human. After all, what can he do? Hey, human, entertain us, will you? Before we destroy you and your pathetic world? As three of them began to fight each other into a fierce battle, he fought them using his sheer strength. Due to their ability to absorb jutsus, Naruto avoided that because Sage of Six Paws told them that they, their clan had the ability to absorb jutsus. Also, he took a lot of damage as well doing this due to two versus one but he used all of his own power to match that of Otsusuki King and managed to overpower them and successfully kill them after a long fierce battle. Naruto took a lot of damage due to this. Both Momoshiki and Ishiki couldn't give him karma seal as he defeated them and he had defeated them, and he being on full Otsuzuki powerful level, they couldn't give him the karma seal. After he defeated them, a figure floated downwards. His chakra level was bigger than both of them combined. Well, that was a nice show, human. Let's see how you do against me. My name is Kashiki, the king of all Otsuzukis. As he said this while laughing evilly, as he spiked up his chakra to full power, as his pressure could be felt all over the world. I have to defeat him, no matter what. Damn it, thought Naruto, as Kashiki already had started to attack Naruto, blitzing him. As Naruto was getting easily overpowered, as he had a lot of deep bruises and wounds from his previous battle as well as he coughed a lot of blood. I can't give up. Not today, said Naruto, as Kashiki threw a giant attack of all five chakra natures, like a bijudama, towards Naruto. Now die, said Kashiki, as Naruto took the attack head on, as he felt unconscious, as blood was gushing out of his body. As everyone noticed that Naruto's chakra disappeared suddenly, as all of them froze with fear and shock. No, Naruto, yelled out Hana as she fell down to ground and she, as she couldn't bear to lose her husband and she felt unconscious. But the barriers were still up, protecting everyone inside of them. As Kashiki was laughing, I'm the only true king, ha 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 ha, he said. No, 
inside Mindscape while everything was going outside. Kid, we have to use Varian mode, said Kurama. But you will die. So will you, kid. But I have 50% chance of chance of survival. I can't. There must be some other way. No, please. Kurama, you know I think of you as my brother. Please. Don't do this. Don't worry, Naruto. You are a tail beast now. I'm sure you will survive. And I will reform after a few years. As you know, I am being a ch of I am a being made out of chakra and I will survive. We have to do this. This is our only hope, Naruto. As tear fell down Naruto's eyes. Okay, let's do this, he said. And as he made some hand signs, so did Kurama alongside Naruto. As in out as on outside world, suddenly Kashiki stopped laughing. As his eyes opened wide, as he saw Naruto got up, as Naruto's chakra spiked up even higher than his power level. Naruto had now double barrier mode of himself being the ten tails and Kurama being the nine tails. As he vanished in front of Ka Kashiki's eyes, as he kicked on side of his head, as he tore down the ground up to one mile, falling down. Damn you, said Kashiki, as both of them began their fierce battle once again, as each of them landed blows after blows, kicks after kicks, jutsus after jutsus. Kashiki was damaged heavily, as he was bleeding intensely, but Naruto wasn't, because he was overpowered. He has overpowered Kashiki. Naruto managed to overpower Kashiki and kill him without getting karma seal because he was proven that he is even powerful than Otsutsuki king himself. Now after Kashiki died, Naruto became the new Otsutsuki king as it was their rule and as all Otsutsuki were outside of the earth watching this, he appeared in front of them grabbing three bodies of Momoshiki, Ishiki and Kashiki and threw them towards them as he ordered them as their king to stay away from earth forever even after he is gone and that is his law as they in fear obliged to him and left the earth alone forever as the barriers were lifted from all over the villages as after some time all of them rushed towards the battlefield as they saw naruto in double marion mode Na Na naruto said minato shocked at his power don't worry his father Earth is safe. Now my duty is done, for now at least, said Naruto. As his barrier mode faded, as he fell down, as Minato rushed and grabbed him. Naruto, what's going on? I used a forbidden power, father, and it is the price that I and Kurama had to pay for using it. What are you talking about? Don't worry, you'll be okay. Get a medic here, now, yelled Minato. Tell Hana and kids and mom and my siblings I love all of them. Please protect them, said Naruto as he fainted, as his eyes closed. No, god damn it, open your eyes, said Minato, as tears were coming from his face. Time skip. One month later, Naruto opened his eyes. Where am I? he thought to himself as he saw as he found himself in a hospital bed. He saw Hana sleeping next to him. Ah, Hana, is that you? He said as she woke up after hearing a voice and seeing Naruto awoke. She hugged him and called for nurse to check up on him and started to cry and said, Don't you dare ever do that again, you hear me? Naruto Uzumaki said Hana with anger in her voice. I promise I won't, said Naruto comforting his wife. As their life went on like normal and peaceful from their own, everyone celebrated and Naruto was regarded as hero of the world. And uh, this is where I'll be leaving the story off. I hope you enjoy this story. And if you do, please leave a like and comment down below on which other what ifs you want me to do. And I will be posting what if Naruto was OP and loved part 6 or 7 today after uplo uploading this video maybe six and eight hours later because I have to study as well that is why I didn't post any video tomorrow 
So yeah, this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing out.